Let's work on one more example to improve our image composition. I've opened up Lighthouse from our Chapter 5 folder, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to duplicate my layer, right-clicking on the word background in my Layers panel, choosing Duplicate. I'm going to name this Lighthouse, and what I'm going to do first is make a selection. I'm going to use my Quick Selection tool to make a quick selection of the Lighthouse. What I want to do is move my Lighthouse to the left side of my image, and I want to cover that little building on the left. So I just want the lighthouse to be the main focus of this picture. What we're going to essentially do is we're going to add the word lighthouse to the image to make what could be a cover for a calendar that features lighthouses in it. So I'm using the quick selection tool. I'm going to make a quick selection of this lighthouse along the edges. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go to select, modify, expand and I'm going to bring my selection out away from the lighthouse just a little bit. So I'm going to set my pixels to 5. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to get a new tool that's been introduced in this version of Photoshop CS6. I'm going to click on the Spot Healing Brush tool and I'm going to select the Content Aware Move tool. So what this will do is I'm going to have my mode set to move and I'm going to leave my adaptation at medium and I'm going to sample all layers. I'm going to move my lighthouse to the left side of my image to cover that building. And what this tool is going to do is it's going to move it for me and it's going to remove the old version of the lighthouse. So now Photoshop is going to work its little magic. It's going to analyze everything. And there we go. It's now removed the lighthouse on the right and moved it to the left where I've been able to hide that building. I'm going to remove my selection, Control D or Command D. And we see that's actually a pretty good job that it did but we do have some problems here that we could correct. Remember our patch tool has been updated also for this version where we can go in and make our patch and we can choose the content aware patch and by clicking and dragging we can replace the section with another section of our land in this case. Okay, now let's take a look at the crop tool to see if we can crop out some of this image since we do have a lot of white space essentially which has nothing in it we've just got land and sky and our main focus is our lighthouse so I'm going to turn on the rule of thirds on my view menu and when I start clicking with my crop tool I get my 3x3 three three grid on the 3x3 three three grid what tends to happen is from all the studies that they've done is that people tend to look along the lines and the intersections of this grid. So you can see our lighthouse is kind of off the intersection. So what I want to do is bring it over to my intersected area, which is more in the area that people would be looking. So I'm adjusting my field of view of my, of my image and keep in mind that in this image composition, my lighthouse is my subject of the image, so that would be my foreground, and everything else around it the, the sky, the water in the background, and our ground, our sand, is our part of our background. So we're working on our visual hierarchy. So I've selected the crop area that I want. I'm going to go ahead and press my return key or my enter key to make my adjustment. And you can see now that I have a white space here on the left, and I can bring that over to work on my crop and we can see we're much closer to our intersection and to the areas that people tend to look. So again, people tend to look at the areas of the lines and the intersections. We really don't want things put in the very center of an image. We want things to be off-center. So that's not too bad. If we made some more adjustments, we could possibly bring that over, but I think we're actually going to be okay here. Now I can make it skinnier by dragging it in this way and then perhaps bringing up the bottom to remove some of the sand. There we go, let's try that. And let me get my move tool so I can get rid of that grid and the marching ants that were around it. So you can see this improved our composition quite a bit. We've located our lighthouse on the left hand side and we've also removed some of the excess what they call white space which is the area that you're really not looking at. It doesn't have a graphic or a text.